in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the New England Patriots. Their meeting in Super Bowl 49 was thrilling. What's in store here? The Pats and Seahawks are underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. On second down, they'll run with White. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Shotgun now for Brady. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Returnable for Lockett. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the carry, here's Marshawn Lynch. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Dante Hightower on the stop. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Check, check. He may try and run for this. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Three yards on the keeper, and it's fourth down. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. First down, the run with Lynch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, 
could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. 23 yards, the final tally. We're scoreless after one. On first down, Lynch. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? Coming up and making the big time play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Lynch. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. Back to back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. Lynch pushing, but he is not going to get there. They stop him short. He needed two. He got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. Zero, zero, zero. Running for it. Here's Lynch. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. The Pats at the line ready to go. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive? Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Brady going to throw. This is White on the screen. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to give the, Need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. And that'll be incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. But it's going to be second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. All go special. All go special. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. 
Josh Gordon there to make the grab as his guys are on the board first here tonight. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. This will be taken very short. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Well, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. The work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying to. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. 
Mike 51. Mike 51. Wilson now. Going to throw again. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 59 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Wilson throwing quickly out to Lockett. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll run with Lynch. And he is gonna lose yardage here. That's gonna go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense second down and goal Wilson end zone caught touchdown Seattle Travis Homer there to make the grab. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Now Myers for the extra point. And it's good to make it touchdown here's Myers to boot it away this will be taken short then he'll take this across the 25 a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line The Pats at the line, ready to go. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Kill, kill. Recon, 152 fighter. Ozzy, Ozzy. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's got White here. Now White lost the football, and the Seahawks have recovered. So the defense...